Hi, my name is Sharon Brennan. I'm the Integration Correspondent for the Health Service Journal. Today I shall be chairing a roundtable debate on the issue of how to get the best value of medicines from the NHS and better support patients in taking them. We will be discussing why patients struggle sometimes to adhere to their medication regime and how that can change, some of the safety risks around overprescribing and how pharmacists working within care homes, for example, can help reduce that. And we'll also be talking about trying to change the model of commissioning and the structure of the NHS so that patients are put more at the centre and more able to cope with the medicine burden they've been given. From my point of view, I went from having no real health concerns at age 30 to having rheumatoid arthritis and overnight was taking something like 136 tablets a week. And that's a massive jump. Trying to be aware of needing to take those tablets. A lot of those tablets also being DMARDs take a long time to take effects. So you're not getting that instant hit that you get from painkillers. You can take your painkillers, you can take your steroids, you see that benefit instantly. The diagnostic work that we as clinicians have to do with the people that we're trying to provide care for then is to work out if, first of all, is there a medication adherence, concordance, what is the person taking the medication that I hoped they were going to take, that they hoped they were going to take, and if not, so creating a safe enough space to have that conversation where you're not in an environment where people feel they're going to be told off for not taking it. There is a fear of medicines and I think an underestimation of side effects and the impact of side effects. So whilst there might be development of medication that prevents people getting worse, they might not feel better, but they may experience side effects. And that's, that's a very motive, that's an adversely motivational thing. And so what, what we found in our patient group is that often people might not take quite as much. They might take some, but not quite as much because they want to have some in reserve for when they feel worse or so, something like that. We need to understand it in terms of the individual within the healthcare system. So obviously system factors and environment will have a big issue, not least in terms of affordability and access to medication. And that's going to be important. But actually I think the answer to um, really understanding this and solving it is to understand the interaction of the individual patient with the illness and with the treatment. Rich conversations between clinicians and patients. And in some cases that will be Actually, there's no point in your case prescribing a medicine because you're not really going to get the benefit from, from it that you want and therefore you're probably not going to take it very well, <coughs> in which case it's not going to work. The relationship between the patient and the doctor has to move from one of transaction to one of engagement. And doctors need to stop seeing the patient has their condition and look at the patient has a whole person. So what we've done is we've looked at commissioning more resource in primary care that puts the focus of medicines across the, the healthcare professional group. So led by pharmacists, because as a pharmacist, you know, I believe pharmacists are the expert in medicines, clearly, but we're not the experts in diagnosis. We're not the experts in you know, psychology. This is about the team approach. We strive for interoperability, I think. I think that's more complex in terms of the digital solution of how we make that happen, but sharing of medical notes would be fantastic for all of primary and secondary care cohesively. But I know in our, on our practices, for instance, we don't have that accessibility. So it's frustrating, it's very long, and it's feel sorry for the MP person who we're trying to help. I think they're about trying to join that in terms of a that would be great communication digital solution. We tried a reminder service and actually even reminders as blunt as they are saw an uplift of 30% to medicine adherence which is substantial so it feels like there's lots and lots, 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 lots to go at. 